want to turn things back over to Craig Setzer because there's tornadic activity out there with a tornado warning. Craig, what's the latest? Yeah, the tornado warning in effect parts of Broward. There's a report of a tornado near Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport in 595. That was just a few minutes ago. It's moving so quick that uh, the areas immediately downstream of it are, are likely already experiencing extremely strong wind gusts as the tornado moves close to you. So folks in Oakland Park, Pompano Beach, Lauderdale Lakes, uh, Margate, Tamarack, Coral Springs, as well as Parkland, Deerfield Beach, and uh, I think I mentioned Pompano Beach. So let me go through that again. You need to be in the middle of your house in the interior room. Uh, you don't need to bring a sleeping bag or anything to wrap around you. You don't need to get in the, the bathtub and, and hunker down, but you do need to be in the middle of your house in a room that is the farthest away from all outside walls. Fort Lauderdale, Oakland Park, uh, including the, all these smaller communities in this area. Lauderdale by the Sea, Roosevelt Gardens, uh, Lauderdale Lakes, Pompano Beach, Margate, Tamarack, as well as uh, Coral Springs and Parkland, uh, Deerfield Beach kind of on the edge of this, but uh, tornado warning and sunrise, of course, runs east-west there. Uh, so so g get to the middle of your, your house. If I mentioned the city's name and if you sound like, if I didn't mention the city's name but you live near there, also get to the middle of your house. The problem is the storm is moving so fast, I can't even tell you uh, with any certainty what time it could hit you or exactly where it could hit you. So you just need to not take any chances and get to the middle of your house. Explain to our viewers here, uh, in the week leading up to this storm, we were thinking that the storm surge and the wind would be the big issue if the storm trended to the east of us. But now that we are on the dirty side of the storm, as it's called, it's that tornado activity that's really a threat, really kind of scaring people in our community. So sort of talk us through why we're seeing this because of where we are with the storm. Um, so the, the what we call the northeast quadrant, and let me zoom out here and, and kind of draw this map where, where we get the perspective here, which is a little bit difficult to do um, when you're doing it on radio, but I'll do my best. So if you drew an X, actually if you drew a plus sign right through the middle of the storm because it's moving north and south, and the plus sign was right where the center of the storm was, you'd have four quadrants, we call them. Um, one is to the upper right, one is to the lower right, one is to the lower left, and one is to the upper left. Those we refer to as northeast, southeast, southwest, and northwest quadrants of the hurricane. And based on which way the hurricane is moving, uh, we call it either the left front, which would be the one that's on the upper right. Oh boy, if you're listening to this on radio, your eyes just rolled back in your head, I know. So let me just say this, when the dirty side of the storm is over you, um, that has a higher frequency of tornadoes because the winds coming into the hurricane at that angle turn in such a way that it produces rotation in the, the stronger cells, thunderstorm cells of the hurricane. That rotation often translates to a tornado uh, touching the ground. So, so basically that's it. The other side is the dirty side here uh, that we, we didn't anticipate, but we'll take this uh, hopefully over the Cat 4 going over us. That was the anticipation earlier last week, is that we're going to be in this rain, this persistent area of rain now as this feeder band comes up. So kind of to put it to you bluntly, it's going to be kind of a long haul here with the hurricane winds that we're experiencing and the hurricane gusts that we're experiencing gradually winding down, but still gusty, but the rain sticking around and possibly these tornadoes. I'm sorry? Tornado warning expired. Tornado warning expired. So that's how quick it was. The, uh, the tornado voomp came on shore near uh, Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport in 595 eight minutes ago and it traveled maybe it touched down briefly a few more spots and uh, it's no longer uh, discernible so they expired the tornado warning.